Hi everyone. Hi guys. Lovely to see you again. Welcome back. More discoveries to come to you today from the Arsenal Faction Finals. This is the best of the best, isn't it? By the time Supposedly. we by the time we broadcast this, the, the winners might have been announced. Yeah, interesting. It, the, the, the window between the announcements of the finalists and the announcement of the winners is quite small. It's about the 11th of May. So we were recording that before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the winners have been announced, but we might publish it after. We we might, we're, 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 we're radical. We might shake it up a bit. But we're going to plow on. We might publish regardless. this video in a year's time. Yeah. So we will. Just go with us. Yeah. Um, what have we got today then? So I have no idea about this. So at we, all. we are back in the artisan category. This is this is an interesting one. When we did our introductory video, I, I said there were there were lots of new brands, new houses, houses, lots and lots mm. of houses we hadn't heard of, and some um, which are less obviously out and out fragrance houses. And this this is one of them. So this is a, a house which has done a lot of uh, kind of shaving products as well. Yeah. Um, of which, which I need yeah, aftershave and I need to get some. yeah, I need to have a little trim. Um, and, 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 and yeah, and so the the the, the, the fragrances, um, certainly the terms that we would think of them as in a bottle which you spray, are not are not their their, their primary or sole product. Yeah. This is a House of Mammoth, and a collaboration with a podcast called Lather Talk. Which I assume is like, you know, so, lathering on your... Soap chat. Your, 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 yeah. Well, sorry. maybe it's something else. Maybe it's something ruder. Well, we'll leave... <laughs> we'll, leave we'll leave that. Probably a soap-based conversation. Voices. Voices. A uniquely wearable. Voices is a custom-designed fragrance that features mango, sticky rice notes, and a woody lactonic base. So, at the time of recording... Just before the finalists are just about to announce, this is currently sold out on the website. So I was going to check the price, but it's currently sold out. But but they're free. Good sign. Well, well, yeah, good. Or um, they just didn't make enough. On this. It could be that as well. But they're about they're between. The, the fragrances are ranged between sixteen and one hundred and ten dollars to 48, 48 mil. I really like the fact that the pro, the fragrances are priced differently. Yeah. Whenever I see a brand and they're all the same price, I think well, you're not getting what you pay for. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let's, um, I have worn this, um, we were sent these samples by the brand, I think at the, at the moment they do not ship to the UK, so thank you for sending them. Yeah, that's um, very kind. To us, so I've had this. Why are people not shipping to the UK? Well, Brexit and all that shit. Oh, God. Yeah. Thanks everyone. Yeah, it's our own fault. Um, so, but I, I we didn't vote Brexit, by the way, in case that's how that sounded. Nor did anyone we know, but there we go. Um, I actually voted for John McEnroe mm. to be... Um, no, uh, carry on. So I was going to make a really silly joke. I have... Um, oh, okay. I have had this and worn this for a while. Joe has not. Oh, actually. <laughs> complete 360 in about five seconds. Oh, it's actually really interesting. It really it takes me back to a, a drink I had as a child. It wasn't a mango. It wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> it was something like that. It wasn't a mango based thing, but it was. It's. Uh, uh, it was sticky. I remember. I I spilt it all the time. It was but a it's, sticky it's, and it's, it's when you, when you read, you read uh, uh, you know the, the blurb or the introduction Ooh. as I said it that a, a, a fragrance from a you know a shaving products company you think oh is it going to be a traditional kind of barber shop? Yeah. Is it going to be traditional cologne? Absolutely this not. This is not what I would ever this envisage. Is, this is as far from it as you can imagine. It's I'll tell you like, what, that's interesting. It's, it's really interesting. So you get uh, <laughs> quite a lot. I mean, there's just a lot going on on first yeah, phrase, isn't it? Yeah, it's busy, for sure. There's, there's kind of fruit, there's sharpness, there's popcorn. You get kind of a popcorn-y... I, I was going to say, I'm getting like a popcorn... Pyrazine-y. Instead of sticky rice, co coconutty rice. Sticky... Burnt rice. It's the pyrazines. Is that what they are? The yeah, that's the, the popcorn. Yeah. But you, but also yeah, almost like Fizzy. burnt rice, as if you've been like maybe you've been boiling rice, and the boiled it, and the water's gone. Yeah, and the rice is starting to burn. That's my favourite bit. Mm. That's the bit I love the most. But the against edges. that, there, there's a real, there's a quite a sharpness. Yeah, there's something there that's quite bracing, isn't there? I've written kind of weird, but not boring. It, yeah, <laughs> it's not boring at all, and it is, and it is strange, and it's not like I feel like it should be making me really happy, but it sort of does, and sort of doesn't make me. It's 
it's, gonna, it's more than that. It's, it's not in a bad way. I think it's just more than a happy making. I've got to say, so, well. so for me, the, what, what, whenever we, we test fragrances, and especially when we, when we do it like this, uh, this in a video, obviously we spray it and we, we are smelling it up close. And for this fragrance in particular, I felt the experience like that and the experience at arm's length, as you're supposed to smell it, were, were, were quite different. And up, up close, it's almost a bit chaotic because it, it, it really falls. You've got this kind of like sticky rice, burnt nuts, burnt popcorn against sharp fruit. Whereas at a bit of a distance, it's, it, 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 it just, uh, it becomes a little bit more seamless. I can imagine, I can imagine that. I, there's something interesting here. I don't get the burnt thing as much as you. Mm -hmm. I, get, I get something more sort of sticky, sweetly. Well, yeah, I, I don't mean sticky like, I don't mean burnt as in smoky. I, I think I mean like, yeah, at the bottom of a pan which had been boiling, so it's not the same as burning something in an oven. Yeah. It made me feel quite hot and sweaty. Like, yeah. it, it, like it made me feel, you know, some fragrances make you feel cool or um, give you a feeling of heat. This made me feel sweaty. It made me feel as if the, uh, um, you know, the atmosphere was really dense and really close yeah. and muggy. It's quite, it's quite a Humid. sort of jungle. Yeah, it feels like a jump thing, isn't it? Very transportative, <sighs> aren't we? I really, I really do like it, actually. Also, it kind of, it, it reminds me of like a lotion I'd like to rub all over myself mm. at the beach. Because it feels, it, it, it feels, to smell it, it feels thick like a lotion. Yeah. Do you not think? It, really, like it, feels, it feels thick and gloopy and syrupy and fun. I'd use this as a sort of erotic massage oil, I think. <laughs> it's, it's really beautiful, actually. I mean, uh, initially a little bit kind of, whoa, what's going on? But I can imagine this drying down really mm. beautifully. It does. It's like so a sort of postmodern traditional cologne. Well, I mean, it's de I mean, it's, it, well, not a cologne strength, but it's it's definitely a, you know po postmodern. Um, so the I found after an hour and a half the kind of sticky rice stepped back, but there was still the sharpness of the fruit. But and um, what was interesting. So this, this kind of fruity accord, what do they what do they refer to it as? Mango. I mean, I never would have picked, picked up mango in a, in a million years. Um, but I, I, I felt like the sticky rice accord receded and I was just, as opposed to the full fruit, I was just left with the sharpness of fruit. But then what kind yeah. of come, came underneath that was um, a slightly a milky sandalwood. Not not a rich sandalwood at all, just a, almost a... It would need to be something milky, wouldn't it, yeah. to, to, to match up with this rice? Aspect. Um, I, 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 it's quite a little bit fizzy as well. And I have the cocktail vibes going on. Uh, yeah. Well, I, ha I have to say, I didn't. Pina colada or something. That one and a half hour to about the four and a half hour stage, I didn't really like mm. because I, I found the fruit. I, I think you the, the fruitiness you can smell, which is just edge. If you can imagine that without the, with the middle taken out, mm -hmm. that's what I got from one and a half to four hours. Okay. And I didn't really enjoy it. It just felt a bit hard edged. But at about four and a half hours, I, I, I felt th that creamy sandalwood quality started to really kind of come to the fore, and then the fruitiness stepped back. Okay. I thought there were basically three stages. You've got the initial one which you're in now, which is the kind of sharp fruity, but with the sticky rice. Then the sticky rice goes and you kind of get sharpness mm. with a little bit of uh, creamy sandalwood, which I yeah. didn't like. And then the, the final stage, the, the sharpness basically receded and you had creamy um, sandalwood with just a fleck of fruit. Um, when thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou hast opened the kingdom of mango to all believers. And behold, sticky rice. I like it. I would, I would totally wear that. And completely out of the left field for yeah. a, a barbershop shaving type place. It's, it's yeah, it's Something very more it's, interesting. It's, in, it's interesting work. And it doesn't well, feel like a clone, like a lot of those barbershop type things. Oh, they just do no, clones no, it's, of. It's far from that. It's, 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 really, and other it's really original and, uh, and I really, really appreciate that. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Likewise. Personally, I wouldn't buy it. I don't see myself wearing it. I, I, I found the, the experience of testing it quite novel. I 
quite, I found the opening interesting and I found the dry down enjoyable, but I yeah. didn't like the mid. So, wow. so I, I wouldn't wear it or I wouldn't buy it. But I think it's interesting and I think it's, it's well executed, reasonably priced. I would want to wear this on a hot day on the beach. You would? Yeah, I would, just because it's got enough, it's got enough body to it that I think I, it would be interesting. I think you would get, I feel, you know, as I was saying, it, it could be that, coin, that kind of it? oppressive, almost muggy, close, humid quality to it. I thought, I thought that's what I just want to, I'm, I'm curious to see what that would be like mm. as an experiment, not in something I yeah, would normally yeah. wear, but how it responds in that claustrophobic, heaty environment. It's interesting. I mean, it's interesting. It's, interesting. it's original. It's yeah. interesting. I'm glad. I can see why it's like in a the, house in like this, a small, a small, uh, um, yeah, perfume brand like this are doing things like this. They're not playing it safe. They're not doing clones. Yeah. They're not doing or even a rehash like traditional cologne. I really appreciate their work. Yeah, something special. And I'm glad. Uh, I'm grateful that they sent it to us. Uh, yeah. I want to try more from this, this house. Well, I've got a couple more. Oh, we have, haven't we? Yeah, that's good. I have to say, the other two here, I, 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 one, one is a kind of like a kind of boozy, woody, amber thing. The other um, one is a slightly orissey thing. I think this is probably the, the most interesting of those three. The other two are called uh, uh, Rumble and Shire. They're, they're okay. Safer, I would say. Safer and more obvious. Yeah. And more familiar than this. This, this, this voice is, is definitely more original, I would say. Yeah. Well, Origin, that's, original voice, you might say. That's what you want. But. Beautiful. Enjoy yourself. Until next time. Bye. Happy sniffing. <laughs>